and welcome to State of the Arts, a series dedicated to highlighting different art and cultural events happening in Tucson and Southern Arizona. I'm your host, Lauren Roth, and today we're at the Tucson Convention Center to learn more about Ballet Tucson's production of The Nutcracker. This year, the Ballet Tucson is partnering with the Tucson Symphony Orchestra to bring The Nutcracker to life. This award-winning production comes just in time for the holiday season. Joining me now to talk more about The Nutcracker is Margaret Mullen, Artistic Director of Ballet Tucson. Thank you for speaking with me today. Thank you so much for having me. This is such a pleasure. Can you tell us a little bit about what makes The Nutcracker so special? Oh gosh, there are so many things that make The Nutcracker special. It's a production that's been in existence in a, in a variety of ways, um, many versions throughout the world, but it's been around for a very, very long time, you know, well over 100 years. So it has a clear appeal to um, families and people of all ages. It's a beloved tradition for everyone in our community, and we're so happy to be a part of people's holiday tradition. Well, we're happy you're a part of our holiday traditions here in Tucson, too. Um, I am the concertmaster of the Tucson Symphony Orchestra, and I'm particularly interested in the collaboration that started last year, uh, as I understand it, between Ballet Tucson and the Tucson Symphony Orchestra. So share a little bit about that collaboration, maybe how it came to be and what makes it valuable to, um, to future years. Yes, oh, we are so proud to be partnering with the Tucson Symphony Orchestra. It's such a pleasure to work with all of you. And having live music, this incredible score, it uh, just makes it even more magical. One of the things that makes this partnership so special is that it really ties into the fact that this is Tucson's Nutcracker. You know, it's Tucson's ballet company, Tucson Symphony Orchestra, us working together to bring a magical experience to our community. I think there is really just nothing more special than that. So we are just so proud to work with all of you. Tell me about this costume. What, um, who might wear it and where it is featured in the production? Yes, we have beautiful costumes, beautiful sets for this production. We're very proud of all of them. And this is the Dewdrop Fairy. We actually have two Dewdrop Fairies in our Waltz of the Flowers, which is a bit unique, but uh, just such a striking tutu. And where, there are many of them. What can audience members expect from attending performances of The Nutcracker with the, our very own Ballet Tucson? I think people can expect a world-class experience. Uh, that's something that I hope everyone will learn about our arts and culture uh, scene in Tucson is that we have world-class art right here in Tucson through Tucson Symphony Orchestra, through our professional ballet company, and of course our, our students are exceptional. Um, you know, people do not have to travel to see great art. They get to stay right here in their own community, um, celebrate the holidays with their families, and get to see some a really extraordinary show produced by world-class artists through the symphony and through the ballet. As a musician and a violinist myself, I cannot um, fall in love more with Tchaikovsky's music. So that's always a treat too for those that love the ballet, those that love Tchaikovsky's music. It's a perfect pairing. Yeah, it really is. It's incredible music. Uh, my favorite scene is the snow scene musically. It's just, I think, absolutely magical. But yeah, it's, it's such a pleasure to have, again, just uh, such extraordinary artists performing this. And it's really two pillars of the arts community coming together to um, create one great experience for Tucsonans. Thank you so much for speaking with me, Margaret. Um, it's a pleasure and we all look forward to Ballet Tucson and Tucson Symphony Orchestra's collaboration of The Nutcracker, um, December 21st to 23rd. It's a pleasure now to be joined by a ballerina herself, Miss Evangeline. Thanks for joining me today. Evangeline, tell me a little bit about your experience with Ballet Tucson. How long have you been a ballerina? Um, I think for um, three years or four. Already. And is this your first production of The Nutcracker? Second. Evangeline, what do you enjoy about dancing? I really like that I can spend some time on the stage with my friends. What will you be performing in this production of The Nutcracker? Mouse and Angel. Mouse and Angel. And are those new roles to you? Um, no. Because you've performed them already. What is your favorite part about being a mouse and an angel on stage? I like to do the um, jumps a lot. What kind of jumps do you do? Like, I'll show you. Like that. Tell me about what it's like to work with your friends. Well, it's really fun. Like, we make some good memories in the studio together. What do you really like about the Nutcracker story and the tradition of, of doing it each holiday season? I really like 
to do all the costumes. I like all the fashion they have in them. The fashion? What sorts of fashion do you get to wear in this production? I like to, like, I get to wear silver and fluffy stuff around my neck. Thanks for talking with me today, Evangeline. Thank you. You'll have your chance to see The Nutcracker starting December 21st with five shows through December 23rd. A world of wonder awaits you at Ballet Tucson's The Nutcracker. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Lauren Roth, and we'll see you again next time on State of the Arts. <laughs>